All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Gear matters because if it wasn't for gear, how would we get shots like this? Guys, in today's video, we're gonna be covering what's in my camera bag for 2021. Okay, let's get something out of the way. A lot of you know that my camera bag got stolen a few months ago. <laughs> when something like that happens, you have to reflect on the gear that you actually need. So I had a few months and I was like, you know what? What camera body, what lenses, what needs to be in my camera bag moving forward? So in today's video, what we're gonna be covering in my 2021 camera bag is the stuff that comes on every single shoot. Yes, I have more gear than this, but this is the essentials, starting with the camera bag. This is the Low Pro 450 AW Mark II. This is my go-to camera bag. I've tried so many other camera bags and I keep coming back to this one. It stores the most gear, it feels the most comfortable on my back. It is my go-to over and over again. So in terms of recommendation, this guy right here. Yep. All right, so let's talk about camera bodies for a quick second. My camera of choice is the Sony A7S three this thing is amazing video camera and it's good enough for photos in terms of what i need it for now it's only 12 megapixels but i post mostly on social media so it's more than enough in terms of like commercial work in the future i am thinking about an a9 three or a sony a7r5 but those aren't out yet those are just rumors so i'm gonna wait for those cameras in the meantime this is more than enough all right, so let's talk about lenses. What are my go-to lenses? I got two primes and then I got two zooms. The first prime is the 24 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens. This is arguably my favorite lens ever. It's great for Instagram, it's great for social, it's great for close-ups, it has a really good close focusing distance. I love this lens. Moving on to the next prime, the 85 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens. I love this lens. It's just a little too expensive, but it produces some of the best images I've ever seen, both for photo and video. Moving on to the zooms, the classic, the go-to, the best lens that you should have in your kit, 24 to 70 F 2.8 G Master. Doesn't matter what camera system you have, I would recommend getting a 24 to 70 F 2.8 if you shoot Sony. Spring for the G Master, you're gonna love it. And then the last lens is the 16 to 35 millimeter F 2.8 G Master. Those are my go-to lenses. They shoot almost everything I need to on a day-to-day -day basis. That's it. Moving on. All right, so let's talk about audio. What you're hearing right now is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And the reason why I love this piece of equipment is that when you turn on your camera, the mic also turns on, so you'll never miss a moment. And the second piece of audio equipment that we use is the Sony XLR K2M. The reason we love this is because it has XLR inputs. So when we're in the studio and we need to connect a microphone to it, XLR in, and then XLR microphone, we get crispy audio. Those are my two solutions when it comes to audio in our camera bag. As for tripods, my go-to is the Peak Design Travel Tripod in carbon fiber. This thing is super strong and super lightweight. And when you're traveling and bringing camera bags onto planes, every ounce counts. So the lighter you can make your bag is super important. The other reason why I love this travel tripod is because of its unique ball head design. So you just lift that up, you put your camera on with the Arca Swiss plate and you tilt it right here and you can make it any angle you want. It's just a super unique design. I absolutely love this product. This is my go-to tripod. So on the opening of this video, you saw a drone shot. Let's talk about my drone of choice. That is the DJI Mavic Pro 2. Yes, it's a bit older of a drone. The reason why I like it is it has the Hasselblad camera that's attached to it. As a photographer, having the best quality camera in the sky is important to me. And I also just think this has stronger motors. So when you're in windstorms, when you're traveling, when you're going through snowstorms, this drone can handle it better than all the other drones, in my opinion, in terms of the DJI lineup. So that is my go-to drone, DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Also, I should land it because I think there's like two minutes of battery left. This place looks different, doesn't it? There's nothing left. We literally just sold the last desk. Tomorrow the flooring is going in on the new offices. This is our last day in the office. All right, moving on. Let's talk about my favorite thing in this camera bag. The Peak Design Tech 
pouch and the things that are in it. What we've discovered over the years on different shoots is that it's always the smallest, the weirdest thing that you need to get the shot. It's the memory card, it's the battery, it's the step up ring, it's the ND filter, it's the thing that you forgot that you always need. So we made sure that we never forgot it because this thing lives in every single camera bag and comes on every single shoot and you'll see why. Look at all those knickknacks and gadgets. Let's start with some of the basics. Right out of the gate, we have variable ND filters. We have the Polar Pro 2 to 5 and the 6 to 9 Pumvins, the Peter McKinnon V and Ds. The next important thing that never leaves a camera bag, especially if you're a mirrorless shooter, are sensor swabs, because those sensors always get dirty. These are step up rings. We have every single one for any type of lens that we might be shooting with. Moving on, extra memory cards. Up next is the Samsung T7 SSD. These are little bongo ties. The bongo ties are awesome. It just keeps all your cables nicely wrapped up. In addition to that, we have every single type of cable available to us just on the off chance that we need to charge something. Up next, I have a little bicolor light from Loom Cube with a little diffusion on the front. We have an extra battery charger. We got one more filter. This is a polarizing filter. This always comes with us. Extra batteries. We have a USB card reader. This is one of those things that I like to carry around with me. This is just like a $30 Gerber knife. This is more of like a recommendation for me. You don't need this, but I like to carry games around with me. And right here is a extra lab from Rode. This connects to your phone. This has saved us in a pinch so many times. We got a lens pen to clean the lens. Extra pen for writing. USB stick, more data management. Two double A batteries. Last thing are various plates for different tripods. That's our little tech pouch. If someone tells you that gear doesn't matter, I'm just being honest, gear does matter. These tools, these cameras in front of us, the lenses, all the stuff that you saw in the video help me do my job each and every single day. They help me produce the stories that I wanna tell, make them more efficient, make it easier for me, and also give me the certain look and stylistic approach that I want as an artist. In this case, gear does matter. That's just my opinion. If you guys enjoyed this video, well, please press like that stuff actually makes a difference. Did you know that? I don't just say that when I say it actually makes a difference. Legitimately, the algorithm only listens to your likes. The comments are important, that's really good, but if you go down there and you go, ha, thanks Chris for making this video, then the algorithm goes, cool, let's show more people. So that would be appreciated. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos and we'll catch you guys in the next one. No ASMR outro today, just a lonely, 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 studio. Thanks guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Hi, I'm the chair. Well, no, actually, I'm just Chris. I was trying to trick you and think that this is the chair talking right now, but it's not actually the chair. This is a really stupid outro. Please don't dislike this video now because of this stupid outro. Just go down there. If you still haven't pressed like, do it. Thanks. Bye.